Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Now in the last episode, we made our way to um, the Seafloor Cavern, where we found Team Aqua's Archie with Kyogre. Today, we are going to make our way to Suitopolis City, if I can remember where that is. And of course, I will be battling Pokemon trainers along the way. Uh, I wish I could have healed up or something. But I guess not. Oh, you threw out a grappler. Uh, no. Buddy, you got this. Right, buddy. Go for that leaf blade. Leaf blade. Hump day. Yeah. Uh, Johanna can do this. Right, Johanna. I know you can. Uh, assist. Use cut. Use swift. Go for the assist. Surf. You're probably going to use a full restore. Hyper potion. Okay, as long as it's not a full restore. I'm fine with that. Oh, you're getting hard already. Wow. Yeah, okay. Come on. This isn't too hard. Tackle. And we got this. Who's next? Who's next? Come on. Loudred, Loudred. Let's go. Buddy, I know you can do this. Buddy got it with a leaf blade. No? No? Okay. Did not want to do that. Absorb. That should take it down. What a critical hit. That's great. Alright, so we defeated that cool trainer. He ain't that cool anymore. And let's make our way to Route 127. Where we shall continue on our journey to Tusa to Sutabalis City. And some water type of one. Which we can take out pretty easily. Another star you. So that goes for a spark. Oh no, we're paralyzed. Yay, sparkity sparky sparks. Sparkity spark sparks. Sparkity sparkity sparks. Sparkity sparkity sparks. No. Sparkity sparky sparks. There we go. I like that one better. Go for the absorb because I need some health back. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Tweety's going levels, that's great. Leaf Blade to take him down. Try Athlete. What kind of Try Athlete wears clothes under in the water? I mean, like, okay, yes, you wear clothes, but you only wear pants. So why are you wearing everything? And. Here we are at Sutopolis City. Yes, this big hunk of rock is Sutopolis City, and I believe this is how I say it. This towering white mountain of rock is Sutopolis City. Yes. I don't understand. Don't even ask me because I don't understand myself. So, yeah. Hmm. If only I knew how that worked. Alright, so we can take this guy's Pokemon down pretty easily. Leaf blade. Yeah. Alright. So now, let's dive in here and make our way to Sutopolis. Ooh, oh. Sutopolis City. And yeah, just go up from here. And then, whoa, Sutopolis City. No, can't see anything yet. Alright. I think that's like emerald only or something. But oh well. Alright, so I got to heal up, which is great. Now where you're gonna wanna go once you reach Suitopolis City is over here. There's a Pokemon here if you wish. But I will be making my way over to the back over here. And look, it's Steven and some other guy. Joseph, you came too? Isn't in this terrible rainstorm yet? Oh yes. Can you hear about what my head, hear out what my friend has to say? My name is Wallace. I'm this town's gym leader. I have also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This downpour is called by a power emanating from the Cave of Origin. That that is the blue orb. I see. Follow me. Alright, if you say so. Where are we going? Ooh. 
For some reason, I always thought that place looked like a keyhole or something. This rain. People in Pokemon need water to live. But why does this rain fill us with so much dread? The rain clouds over Shatopolis will keep building and soon extend all over Hoenn. If that were to happen... If that were to happen, what? Did you just, like, cut off your sentence right there? The Cave of Origin is ahead. No one from Zotopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin. But you must go. Together with your blue orb. You must go regardless of what awaits you in the cave. Joseph, I never expected you to be holding the blue orb. You'll okay. You'll be okay. With your Pokemon, you'll get things done no matter what. I'm convinced of it. Let me check something real quick. Uh... Mm. Yeah. I think we can do this. So let's go. Repel's effect wore off. I think you can... I think you can encounter Pokemon here. So I'm going to not do that. Oh, jeez. Johanna! Flash, please. Don't flash other people. Just me. Thank you. Yes. Amazing. Whoa, what was that? Whoa. That was weird. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? Oh, it's all foggy too. No. Is this an earthquake? Uh, I go this way. Oh no. Oh look an item. HMO7, which I believe is waterfall. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> I made a cool sound too. Just this blue orb suddenly began glowing. Oh, please don't tell me I'm fighting it now. Please no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I need to save first. I need to save first. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that, I, that was pressing the shift keys. I wanted to save first. No. Uh, guys. So, like, let me uh, save state. Which I believe is shift. Let me check. Let me just do it manually. Uh, save game. Yes, it's shift and F1. So there we go, save stated. And I am going to use Thunder Wave. Which I don't know if it can take on with, uh... Oh, Jesus, it killed me with Hydro Pump. That's great. Buddy, you can do this. Uh, Leaf Blade... Come on. Calm mind. Just calm the mind. It's all you need to do. Leaf Blade. Oh my god. And it uses another Hydro Pump. And it kills me. Are you serious? What? Oh my god. Jahana. Jahana. I need you. I need you. Assist. Rock smash. That's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, body slam is going to kill me. Oh, no. Oh, but I'm paralyzed. This is stupid. Hi, you're paralyzed. Crap, I'm paralyzed too. That was, that was stupid. Ah, you're paralyzed. I'm paralyzed too. That's great. Deja vu. And use body slam. And I'm still paralyzed. This is great. Come on. Yes, you're paralyzed. Why am I still paralyzed? God, that's four turns in a row. Paralyze hacks. You know, paralyze hacks, yo. Can I please use an attack that's good? Heck no, that's bullcrap. Can I use something good? Thank you for missing. But can I please use Leaf Blade? I just want to use Leaf Blade. Not anymore, though. Body slam kills me. Great. Next book. Bun buns. Ugh, I'm gonna have to. I have to. Oh, fake out. That's good. I guess. And, I don't know. Let's go for... Ultra Ball. New. Catch it, please. I guess not. Let me save the state. 
Yes, okay. And there goes Bun Buns. Nice. Rocky. Rocky, my man. Let's do this. I know you can do this, bag. Ultra Ball. Hold it down. Uh, uh, aw. Aw, man. Crap. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's real great. I just want to catch me a Kyogre. Please. Won't you let me catch a Kyogre? Come on. Come on. Nope. Okay. Come on, please. Come on, please. I guess not. So I'm going to load, which I believe is just pressing F1. Yes, okay. So, there goes Bun Buns. I guess that was a bad save spot. Alright, alright, we got this. <sighs> Whoops. Okay, so I'll see you guys once I catch Kyogre. Alright. Throw it. See you guys there. Wow. That took a couple, like, four minutes, maybe, on super speed. So there we go. We've caught Kyogre. Kyogre's data was added to the Pokedex. Kyogre is named in mythology as the Pokemon that expands the sea by covering the land with ter torrential rains and towering to tidal waves. It took sleep after a cataclysmic battle with Groudon. And no, we will not give a nickname to Kyogre because we will not use Kyogre. But wow, that took quite a while to do. Thankfully, I we caught it. That took pretty long. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. Safe dating and all. So now we make our way outside. And here's the outside. No, guess not. This is the outside. And it's nice and sunny. I believe the guys are waiting for us. Um, look, there's people outside too. I believe. All right. So now that I've got everyone healed up, let's go over here and head head toward the gym. Why did I say heads? Joseph, we owe it all to you. The sky above the dollars has returned to normal. For that, Wallace sends his thanks, too. And that same... And that same Wallace is waiting for you inside. He's strong. But the way you are now, you should be in equal footing with him. Give it your best shot. I'll hit him with my best shot. Do, do, do. Um, I'm gonna make it through all these puzzles. And then... On the last one, I will fall through. Oops. Yes, this one, I'll just fall through. Because, yeah. I guess you're first. What do you have? Whalemer. Sparky, any spark sparks. Got this with spark. Yes, thank you. And another Whalemer. Easily taken down. So that's 39 for you. Uh, yes, take out Tackle. I believe Sparky will learn Crunch later on, actually. Uh, Battle you. what do you have? Two little Whammers, but no, you haven't has a real. Go for a bite. And another bite. What's next? What do you have the next, my friend? A Meryl. Meryl. Spark. Takes it down. Easy. Azumarill. Ah, oh, so you had the Azuril evolution. And Spark again, because there's nothing else to do. Alright. Now let's battle you. Don't think I am a pushover. Well, all you have is a Lombre. So, you kind of are a pushover. Look at that, you're paralyzed, you can't move. Hit me with a water gun, but I'll hit you with a quick attack. And 
and that is it for you. Awesome. <gasps> Tweety! Tweety's evolving! Oh my god! I was not expecting this. Tweety's evolving! Yay! Awesome. Tweety's evolving. Tweety's evolving. Congratulations, your Tweety evolved into Altaria. Awesome. Dragon Breath, of course you can learn Dragon Breath. I will take out Fury Attack. Alright, there goes Fury Attack and Tweety learned Dragon Breath. That probably did not sound good over the microphone. Alright, so now there's this trainer, which we will take on again with Sparky. Sparkity Spark Sparks getting hurt by, uh, what, what, what do you call it? Oh, no. Did Ruffskin hurt me or not? I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Doesn't matter, because Sparky gonna take this down. And I'm guessing Ruffskin gonna hurt me again. Right? Yep. Awesome. Now let's go down to this one, where we face these two trainers. Alright. Beauty Bridget. I'm gonna use Spark. Sparkity, spark, sparks. Well, oh, use double edge. Uh, quick attack. Oh no. Oh, you killed yourself though. Sucker. Uh, what do you have? You have a one Pokemon and it is a Seeking. I can take that out with a spark. Oh no. And it used Waterfall on me. That's great. Wow. Uh, fake out and use the full restore. Because you are not a word I can say on this. Another word for cat. Yeah. I just called you cat. Alright. So that's done for her seeking. And I guess, um, I guess, I guess I'll put Buddy up front. Switch. And put Buddy up there. And let's go against you. And you shouldn't be too hard. All you have is a Goldeen. Easy takeout. Oh, maybe, um, Buddy can go to level 39. That's great. I believe Wallace's uh, Pokemon are up to like level 42. I believe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. And she just has one Pokemon, which is a Love Disc, which will be taken up by the Leaf Blade. Alright. So, I'm gonna go heal up. Okay, I am back from healing up. And now let's make our way through this ice puzzle. Yes, this is how you should do it. The only way to do it, because there's only one path you can take. Remember, do not step on any uh, tile twice, because that will cause you to fall down to the floor below you, where all the trainers are at. Now this I do carefully, because I don't want to overdo it. Yep, like this, there you go. And there we go. I don't understand why standing on them for too long doesn't do anything, but whatever. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of Tutopolis. There's something about you, a difference in your de demeanor. I think it's, I sense that in you. What happened inside that cave of origin and what you did, I will likely learn through our upcoming battle. Now show me, show me the power you wield within your Pokemon. And I, in turn, shall present you with a performance of illusions in water by me and my Pokemon. Well, we shall take you down. It won't be that hard because we have two Pokemon that are super effective against you. And Sparky, my man right here. Or my woman right here. Very good. Look at that. There goes your love disc. Ooh, now you're lonely because you have no love. Ooh. Whiskash, I will take out with Buddy, because Whiskash is a water ground type. So grass is four times effective. So bang, bang, Wallace, Leaf Blade is going to knock Whiskash out. Bang. What you going to do about that, sucker? Huh. Celio, I'll keep Buddy out, because I believe my type is also... Um, affected by grass. Let's see. Super effective. 
And he's gonna use Aurora Beam, which I don't think should kill me. Nope. So let's go for the Leaf Blade. And we're good there. Alright, so who's next? I don't think my low tick will be next. But let's see. Oh, my low tick is next. Um, I'll go to Sparky for this. Uh, my low tick most likely will be faster than me. So I am going to go for a Thunder Wave. Oh, I'm faster. Thank you. But uh, Thing might not be faster. So, subtitle. Buddy. There we go. Remember the name. Maybe I can even... No, I guess not. I was going to say, maybe I can even take it out with Spark, but I guess not. Maybe with three Sparks I can do it, as long as Wallace doesn't use a healing item, which he doesn't. Awesome. So there goes Milo Tick. And who is next? Seeking. I shall take you out with Buddy, because Sparky is dying. Buddy can do this. I know you can. Sends out a Sea King, and let's use Leaf Blade. Almost. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Okay, Rain Dance. Why? Okay, Wallace, you just witnessed what an Eternal Rain can do. And you're going to use a small little rain to taunt me. I can get rid of that easily. Goodbye, Sea King. Sucker. Alright. And Tweety grows to level 37. Great. So we defeat the leader Wallace. Bravo! I realize now your authentic authenticity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find much joy in having met you on your Pokemon. You've proven yourself worthy of the Rain Badge. Accept it. And we got four thousand three hundred dollars. Awesome. Joseph received the Rain Badge from Wallace. Da -da. Having that badge assures you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to every command you make. The badge also allows you the use of HM Move Waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so and so that you never forget the battle we shared. Take this. TMO3 Water Pulse. You see in my hand you contain water pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. Alright, Wallace. Well, I'm gonna get out of your gym by going oh, we land behind the girl. By going through here. So now that we have all eight badges, the next episode we will be making our way to, um, what's the place called? Ooh, I know the name for it. To Evergrande City. So I will see you guys on the next episode, where we make our way towards Evergrande City to face the Elite Four. See you guys next time. Goodbye.